Romania, land of contrasts. <coughs> Romania, it has everything? <coughs> uh, Romania, there's lots of stuff here. Hmm? Yeah? Okay, phew. Romania is arguably the last unspoiled, under-the-radar, truly fascinating country in Europe. The mountains, the castles, the painted churches, the peasant villages, and this guy. Wait, I mean this guy. We'll get to that other guy in a minute. This is Vlad Dracula, 15th century prince of Wallachia, also known as Vlad Tepes. Tepes means impaler, and boy did he earn that nickname. In the seven cumulative years of his rule, he killed thousands, tens of thousands, and not just with impaling, though that was his favorite because it was the slowest, most agonizing way to kill a guy. Even Sultan Mehmed, leader of the overwhelming forces of the Ottoman Empire, was traumatized by the scale and relentlessness of Dracula's brutality, and they called him Mehmed the Conqueror. Suffice to say, Dracula was unhinged, and kind of a jerk. So how did a genocidal maniac become the toast of Europe, besties with the Pope, and a hero in Romania? Well... It's complicated. And what's the deal with Vlad's association with Bram Stoker's vampire, Count Dracula? Did Stoker study Vlad intensely, as is widely believed? Or was he only vaguely aware of the prince, apart from lifting his name, which he conveniently mistranslated as devil? In Backpacking with Dracula, I explore Romania, where I lived and worked as a Lonely Planet author, probing the history, myth, and legend behind these intriguing, murderous characters. I also explore their legacies in modern Romania, while visiting sites associated with both the prince and the count, including Vlad the Impaler's castle. Spoiler alert, it's not this place. 